is in chemistry awesome. Today, we're gonna to look at acetone. So I have some acetone right here. This is acetone, right? That's, that's, that's fingernail polish remover. And I've got a, a sliver of copper on a, a, a wire, a copper wire. And what it turns out is that acetone likes to decompose. And as it decomposes, it can be catalyzed by hot copper. So watch what I'm about to do. So I'm about to heat, I'm heating up the copper in uh, what's called a meeker burner. Notice I'm getting the copper crazy hot. So it's glowing hot copper. See how hot that is? The wire, it's called nichrome wire, is also crazy hot. And I want to then let the wire set in the copper without igniting the acetone, which can sometimes happen. I want you to notice something, what's happening here. There's a lot of heat coming off there. Notice that the copper is continuing to stay hot. Because what's happening is, is as the copper is a solid catalyst, it's a solid catalyst and it continues. So what happens is the acetone vaporizes because it's got a low vapor pressure. And then the acetone touches the copper. And as it touches the copper, it decomposes into its constituent parts. There's carbon dioxide, water, and um, another chemical. And what happens is that's a very exothermic process. So the reaction is happening on the place. The copper is not consumed. So I could use this copper penny. Uh, in fact, it will last for hours and hours and hours and hours, continuing to stay hot as the acetone evaporates and then decomposes. Isn't that awesome how it just stays super hot and red? It's crazy how hard to touch it burned the, the snot out of me, would Notice also how it's kind of wavy. It's, it's changing its temperature as the acetone uh, touches the copper and then the reaction takes place and then it decomposes.